going to win these two games. And here's the kickoff. Larry Rutley, Dave Grunfeld on the call live here. Hard Rock Stadium for the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship presented by Wendy's. And it will be Mr. Miami Man in the orange on orange, the color rush jerseys rocking it for the fans here first and ten for Mr. Miami Man. Go ahead, Dave. No, I, mean, I was just going to say, I love these jerseys, man. People hate on the color rush jerseys. I'm a Rams fan. I love the yellow color rush jerseys. But you know what? The orange looks good, too. I think we're here in the home of the Dolphins. It's only right we got a little, a little flavor out there. Yeah, look, we're in Miami. It's got to be loud. It's got to be proud. It's got to be, you know, Miami. That's and that's right. Miami, that orange on orange color rush. I don't care what anybody says. It's Miami, and I like it. Uh, working here in this market back in 2005-06. Uh, Nick Saban was the coach when I was here. That was a lot that? of fun. Yeah, I was going to say, that didn't go so well. We shouldn't talk about that in the Dolphins Stadium too much. But, you know, we're, we're, we're here live. He's got Carson Wentz and Bo Jackson, uh, Miami man does. He's going to try and pace his offense with those two guys. He talked to us about spending that 59 cap on Wentz. That's a huge commitment. But it's probably going to be worth it because he can not only throw the ball, he is quick. He can get outside the pocket. He can make throws on the run. He can also take off and, and try and get some yardage that way. What about that old school collar by Bo Jackson. Uh, I oh. still think they, I wonder if Donnie and those guys, that will, look, Bo Jackson's got to be a little bit more faster than he is right now. What is he, high 80s or something like He should be about 92, 93. I mean, Bo was a bad boy. Yeah, Mr. Miami Man is using the uh, the elite Go, uh, Bo Jackson edition. He's got 88 speed, 88 overall. He's got power, though. He's going to look to try and truck some people yes. and run through some defenders if he can. But that was a nice little read right there, a nice little dot for a first down. There he is. First down, a, a pass complete to the GOAT, Jerry Rice. First down and 10 from around the 45, or around the 40-yard line. You talk about Mr. Miami, man. He likes the pass out of the running formations. Here he is, and that bunch tight. He's got the trips and also with the tight end as well, so he likes to run a lot of that. But there's the gun bunch with the tight. Back flexed to Flexed it out a little bit. Flexed it out, absolutely a little motion there. Got his quarterback, Carson Wentz. A little extra cap on Carson Wentz, but it was well worth it for him. Second down and eight for Mr. Miami Man. And we can see Blocky is bringing his safeties up. He's daring Mr. Miami Man to throw the ball over the top. He wants him to go try and make a mistake on a bad read deep down the field. I was talking to Mr. Miami Man. I was asking him about Blocky. He said, look, I don't know a whole lot about him. Uh, I don't really study him a little, whole lot. I'm just going to stick to my game plan, and I'm going to do what I need to do. So it's almost like that gusto, like, look, I'm not into watching these other guys. And we'll see if that prevails. Or will Blocky, kind of like M. Brent Quinn, here's a guy that studies, does a lot, does a lot of preparation. We'll see if that rules the day. But there's a sack coming off the edge there by Joe, Joey Bosa from the Chargers. And we got a long third down there at San Diego Super Chargers, I guess. Go Chargers. Yeah, we saw Go Chargers. We saw this in the last game with Quinn. You know, this is a huge play right here on second down. That was a huge play. A big sack. Now third and 19. Nobody wants to be in this situation. That being said, in Madden 18, you don't necessarily have to be chucking the ball downfield here. You can throw a drag. You can throw an in and really let your 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 stick and let your, your guy with the ball make a play for you. Where's Mike Wallace? Yardage. Where's Randy Moss? There's and there he Mike is, Mike Wallace. Wallace. Little speed He's got on the a little outside. speed. Oh, but Paul Krause, I'm telling you, man, he is... He's just really good. He's a beast in Madden. What is it about Paul Krause? I mean, look, I cover real football, and I don't remember a whole lot about him. I had to do some research. I was like... Yeah, he's pretty good. He's One pretty of the, decent. The, you know, the career leaders in interceptions, Paul Krause, was a really good football player. Look him up, guys. I have to figure it out. There you go. Do your research. That's your right. Research. Hop, hop on the computer. Yeah, I think... Uh there's a reason that Paul Krause is on all of these guys' rosters. He's really just an absolute goon, one of the best secondary players in all of Madden, no doubt about it. Fourth down and 11. Where's Randy Moss? Where's Mike Wallace? Those are the two places he's going, and he's looking for Jerry Rice to go, and he's out of bounds, and we're going to get a turnover on downs, and the ball goes back over to Blocky, the 21-year-old uh, from Kendall, Florida. Government name, Abbott Lopez. All right, big Abbott. Let's see what we can do here, Blocky. I know Blocky very active on problem streams part of the movement we're going to see if yep. he can he can hold it down for the east coast here for florida really high expectations i said where's your confidence he's like really high dude i expect to win this thing and he's like i should win both matches larry pretty easily yeah if and that's not confidence i don't know what is i should win and not only win but pretty easily and, and he, he got the turnover to start the yeah, first game. that's a great way to start things off. Exactly. You took the words out of my mouth. We're, we're going to see a lot of throwing the ball for Block. He told us before the game, if he can, he wants to throw the ball every single play of this game. Like it. That's confidence. Yeah, like that you is. said, especially at Madden 18 where the zones are so good. It's especially on mud. It's such a difficult thing to do. It's impressive. We're going to see if he can run this bunch to perfection here. Pass complete to Brandon Cooks on that last play. There he hits. We were talking about it. You see that. It's really creeping up. A lot of guys are doing this here in the uh, Madden Ultimate team with the Mutt. 
using their linebackers to play a little bit of tight end. That was Ryan Shazier, and, and God bless him. I hope he's okay. Was released and back going to head surgery, uh, going back to Pittsburgh the other day of that uh, terrible injury that he suffered on Monday night against the Cincinnati Bengals. So shout out and prayers up for Ryan Shazier, the linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, doing a lot better now. Uh, had the surgery on his uh, spinal surgery uh, the other day. Absolutely, yesterday. absolutely. Let's see if he can fit this into the end zone. Not quite. I was actually lucky enough last season of Madden America got to meet Ryan yes. Shazier at the Steelers Club Championship. Got to actually play a game of Madden against him. He is one of the nicest guys I've ever met in the NFL. Does like, the pimp my ride out too as well, right? That's that right, show, right. That's right. And, and you know, he's, uh, yeah, like you said, he prayers up. So. We, we hope the best for him and his family. But right now, we got some red zone offense on display. Let's see if we can do something with this bunch right here for Blocky. Gun bunch week, second and ten, and he's got a crosser coming. Oh, Jackson with the catch. Deshaun Jackson, but he's lit up there by Key to leave. Third down and seven. Can Mr. Miami man bow that neck and keep him out of the end zone and force a field goal attempt? It'll be third and seven once again for Blocky, 21 year old Abbott Lopez. See what he can do here. He flips the formation there. Ron Shazier in the slot there. S such a difficult place to score here, Larry. I mean, it it really, the defense is compressed, compressed. down. Mm -hmm. In Madden 17, you'd see a lot of high point passes to a tall tight end right here. This year, Madden 18, there's a lot of different ways you can go with it. You know, a lot of guys from this kind of zone, the 8 to 10 yard line, if they know they're going to go for it, they're going to run the ball, but right there, there low it pass. Is. The touchdown Beautiful. pass, or they have the one. Oh, they didn't oh, give it to him. One they didn't give it to him. Deshaun Jackson has got two catches, 11 yards, and he's right there, about six inches away inside the one, first and goal for Blocky. Uh, will they give it to his tail back here? Oh, and there's the quarterback sneak, and there's a touchdown. Aaron Rodgers gets in for the first score of this second semifinal. You don't see a whole lot of QB sneaks unless it's something like that where you only need less than a half a yard. Yeah, when you see guys that that close to the end zone, right. I mean, a lot of the times in that situation, you'll see four QB sneaks in a row uh, if, if nobody shows they can do it. Some guys, though, in the community, Young Kiv last year was really, really known for having great sneak D. It's a huge asset. In a big game like this, when you're down on the goal line, you got to do everything you can to keep that ball out of the end zone. Yeah, QB sneaks not as easy this year as they were uh, at Madden 17. So Blocky with the lead, 7-0. Mr. Miami Man, his second possession here. Mr. Miami Man in the orange jerseys, blocky in those aqua slash teal jerseys. I guess we'll go with aqua. We heard Miami <laughs> four of uh, the Dolphins there. So Mr. Miami Man, his second possession there. And there you can see the bunch tight. Got the trips and he hands it off to Bo Jackson. And he's bottled up there. Another minimal game there for Bo Jackson. Actually, a loss of one, Dave. Second down and 11. Yeah, this drive really is, is huge. This is going to be a massive drive, especially since uh, Mr. Miami Man got the ball first, and Blocky's going to be getting the ball back at halftime. If Blocky can get a stop on this possession, get the ball back, get points on the board, it's going to be very, very difficult for Mr. Miami Man to come back into this thing. I know Blocky likes to throw the ball, but I think if he goes up two scores in the first half, mm -hmm. he gets the ball back in the second half, you got to consider switching it up a little bit, handing the rock off. Larry Ridley alongside Dave Grunfeld here for the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship presented by Wendy's live here at Hard Rock Stadium. Beautiful facility here, been renovated here over the last few years. Will be the site of Super Bowl 54 here in about two years in 2020. Second down and 11, blocking with the lead, 7-0, and there's the pass, the swing pass out to Bo Jackson. Nothing doing there, Dave. Yeah, you know, that's a play I would have loved to see Quinn run with, uh, with Barry Sanders. That's a nice way to get somebody out into a little bit of space. Bo Jackson with the 88 speed out there against the corner, that's going to be a tough thing to break unless you can really time that animation right. It's going to be tricky. Mr. Miami Man facing a pretty big possession here. He needs to get something going, third down and 12. Uh, from his own 25. Another third and long. Third and long. It's hard to live like that. Third down and 12. Mr. Mommy Man. Carson Wentz in the gun. He's looking across the middle. And there's Mike Wallace. We've been calling for him to get the ball to Mike Wallace. And also Randy Moss picks up about seven. It's fourth down and four. Another right. fourth down. Huge play. Huge right here yeah, for this you, is Dave. It. Oh, and he got him. I think he got him on the offsides oh, right there. I think man. he drew him. Yep, he, he did. did. He First did. down, that's going to hurt for Blocky there. First down and 10 on the five yards for Mr. Miami Man. Just uh, knowledge of the game right there. You know, just knowing what he needed. He knew he had a, within five yards in that fourth down. Might as well take a shot, and it worked out for him. Old Aaron Frischman, the 24-year-old Mr. Miami Man, said, 
problem beat him 10 years ago near L.A. That's how long he's been playing Madden. So he lost to one of the all-time greats in Madden, uh, Eric Problem right out there. Big shout-out to Eric Problem right Ran into him at the Jets Club Championship last week uh, at MetLife Stadium. It was good catching up with Eric. Hope that you're watching here on the stream. Uh, all of those guys out there. I, I like that this community is growing, and we're all lifting each other up, and that's good there. Uh, we had some new GOAT talk as well. That was dominated <laughs> Madden over the last couple of months. We had some fun with that. Uh, I'm still standing by. Oh, Skip there you go. The best okay, player I was, was, right was going to ask I'm not what your thoughts down. are still now the, on this He's point. still the okay. best player right now, but I like Eric Problem Right. Uh, he is uh, the GOAT as far as what he's been doing in the past. But, yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not sidestepping. There it, okay, there you go. Stepping right into it. <laughs> not hiding from the limelight no, here. Okay, no. right on. Well, I, I, as that happened, that was a nice little pick. Up. You know, he didn't really pick up the blitz, but nice read. Dumped it off. A couple yards. Mr. Miami then starting to build a little rhythm here. This is nice. This is exactly what he needs right here to start moving the ball. He'll get bigger chunks as the game goes along. Consistent, positive yardage. That's what we need right now. And, and this is, you know, this does not have the feel of the first game. He's only down 7 nothing. He's been able to move the ball, so you feel like this is more of a fair fight. Oh, oh right on out cue. there and is picked off. And he's heading the other way. Can he make Carson Wentz miss? Oh, he's brought down uh, by Randy, Randy Moss, Moss, Moss yeah. with the tackle there. And there's the second turnover for Blocky. Quiet confidence from Blocky, and watch the pick right here. Jumps, oh, bad throw by the quarterback. That's just not a good throw. throw. That's off the back foot. That's into coverage. That's that's McDonald's a panic throw. Pick. And of course, right as I'm saying, he's establishing this wonderful drive. He makes the bad read. Right now, this is this is this is where he needs to prove himself. Right now, Everybody he got a screaming down the middle, but he hits Cooks coming across the middle. Oh, I thought he was going to hit Deshaun Jackson. Oh man, he had him. But you have that single safety in the middle of the field. That's what I like to call high-low. You have that deep end, mm -hmm. and then you have the screaming stream or the streak right down the middle. It's putting that safety in a bind there. Good and job there with that single out safety. Now he's back in the cover two shell. Yep, and that's something that real football knowledge plays a huge factor into, knowing knowing what defenses you want to attack with what as he tries to just get out of bounds there with A-Rod so he doesn't take a big Aaron hit Rodgers right there. takes a sack there. Oh, I guess you give him one there. I thought that was a loss of about a half a yard or no gain. We'll give it to A-Rod. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll give him a half a yard. Him. Second down and nine for... Blocky with his uh, second possession now for another turnover. He's got Ryan Shazier out of the flats. And once again, prayers up, guys. Everybody here, Doll fans, make sure you send a prayer up for Ryan Shazier. Uh, once again, that uh, difficult, horrific injury that he suffered on Monday night in Cincinnati. Spinal cord surgery on yesterday, flown back to Pittsburgh. Hopefully that he recovers. He is done for this year for sure. Hopefully he's able to recover and live a, a, a healthy lifestyle and be back out. Uh, it's doing what he needs to do. Prayers up for Ryan Chase here with the students. Absolutely, and absolutely. And, and right now, Blocky is just abusing the right side of the field right here. He's good. he's throwing to the flat when it's there. He's throwing to the corner when it's there. He's he's running bunch like like a guy is supposed to run bunch right now. He's utilizing, like you mentioned, that linebacker playing tight end. He's not going to be throwing a lot of balls into coverage to Ryan Shazier. Wants to use the speed. Wants to get him into space. Good job there, letting the clock wind down to the two minute warning. Larry Ridley, Dave Grunfeld here live on the broadcast on twitch.tv slash Madden, also MiamiDolphins.com. For the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship, we're live here, presented by Wendy's inside of Hard Rock Stadium, and there's Logan, first care of the game, I believe, yes. Yeah, you know, Blocky told game us soon. he didn't really care about his running back. <laughs> no, he's, he's got T.J. Logan in there. He's a 64 overall. <laughs> he wants to throw the ball, but this right here inside the 10, he's still in bunch, still in shotgun, but... It's tough to throw the ball down here, so he might have to lean on that on that you know not as talented running back. We asked Blocky about shout outs, and you know most guys will say, "Hey, I'll tell me, you know my, my folks are here, my girlfriends are here, my wife, my kids." Blocky's like, "I don't need any shout outs. I'll shout out my folks when I win." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay, got it." Yeah, that's the real confidence right there, letting them know. Second down to go. Oh, he had B no and pressure. A crossing. He's got to throw that away. He had a quick window there. A going across, B going across to the left-hand side. Wasn't able to pick him up. Probably smart yeah, uh, not read. to try to throw that in there. So it'll be third down and goal for Blocky. Make sure you want to come away with points here, Dave. Yeah, as I like to say, the juice was not worth the squeeze on that one, especially in Florida. <laughs> it's worth it. Uh, you know, it's, it, a lot it's of oranges around here. A lot here. of oranges. Or it's OJ orange back down here. Is OJ. OJ back down here? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. we got to go out tonight and check it out. But, yeah, it's uh, a, a nice third down here for Blocky. He doesn't have to force the ball. Oh, there Brandon it is. Cooks right there. Nice Beautiful. low throw to Brandon Beautiful. Cooks right there. Will he take out the bow and arrow and shoot it? What a nice little throw there. Quick little throw and a nice placement there as well, Dave. Down low mm -hmm. on the little corner out there. Was able to hit him. A uh, seven play, 41-yard drive. Blocky up 14-0 now. Under a minute and a half left here in the second quarter. Got to get going if you're Mr. Miami now. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that was a bit of a backbreaking play right there. Uh, you know, you really wanted to hold him to three to keep this a 10 nothing game. But, you know, like we talked about in the first game, Mr. Miami Man has a minute 16. He has three timeouts. That is an eternity for a competitive Madden player. If he utilizes the clock well, if he can really kind of move the ball through the air, I think that's really what he's going to look to do right here. Get some points on the board. Get a stop. First possession in the second half. We still got ourselves a ball game. It's not quite out of hand yet. All right, we'll pick it back up here. Second quarter, about a minute, under a minute and 20 to play 116. And Mr. Miami Man and the gun bunch tight. The trick's right there with the tight end. Going to motion it back to the other side and flip it. Carson Wentz in the gun. And he's got a receiver off to the right-hand side. And Jansen, that's probably going to be a gain of a couple of yards there. It'll be about second down and seven. Uh, for Mr. Miami, man. You really want to bleed this clock, make sure Blocky doesn't get another possession in this half, and maybe try to get something on the board, get something going in the halftime if you're Mr. Miami, man, Dave. Yeah, it's that, it's that fine line between I need to get points on the board, right. but I can't score too quickly and let this guy move the ball on me. A uh, little, little, little screen right there to, uh, to Randy. But, uh, you know, it's funny. He's got, you see these big names, Jerry Rice, Randy Moss. That Mike Wallace is actually the most talented, highest-rated receiver on his roster. That's the Thursday Night Football Mike Wallace, 93 overall. A lot of speed with that guy. Haven't really utilized him yet. We've seen him dropping back too far in the pocket, throwing off the back foot. We're seeing the play art here. This is going to be an interesting play call here on third and three. Let's see if... Got the screen. No, oh, he jumped he's it. Picked off he right jumped there. it. That's a, that's, Ryan Shazier. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Got in the way, and there's the speed. 10-5. Touchdown. What a play. By Blocky as 21 years old from Kendall, Florida, and he's up by three scores. We'll take another look, and oh, there's Shades here. Good grace is one of the best players in all of Madden, maybe the second most popular linebacker behind Barr, and he gets the pick six going the other way, and you cannot have that if you're Mr. Mommy, man, Dave. Now, you know, I mentioned that was going to be an interesting play call, and you saw from the snap, he was all over that, no hesitation. Sniffed it out. Sniffed it out. That, uh, that one right there is going to be tough to come back from. There's Unless, Mike Wallace. Right there's the he there he, he goes. got some space. All right. And Mike Wallace, hottie toddy from Ole Miss into the zone. He, oh, and he hot oh, dog Goodness it a gracious, bit goodness there. gracious. That's what you needed there. The crowd here, the Dolphins, loving it here live at Hard Rock Stadium for the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship presented by Wendy's on the teeter tartar back and forth, Dave. Oh, this is a lot of fun now. It's heating up. You know, I have memories of Scheman going down on the one-yard line against True Boy from back in the major last year. A little bit sketchy there at the end as he crossed the goal line. But there we go. We're back in this game. Like you said, if you can't move the ball on offense, just go ahead and return a kick. You know, that's no problem. Nice and easy. He's got some space here, too, though. All right, now, now he needs to buckle up and, and, and bow up a little bit here, Mr. Mommy Man. Now on defense, Blocky back with the ball. So no harm, no foul. They, they exchanged touchdowns there. So it's 21-7 lead for Blocky. 24 seconds left. Can he get in the field goal position? Needs about, let's see, 10, 20, about 30, 35 yeah. yards. About 30 yeah. yards. 35, 40 yards, yeah. 35 yards will get him around, somewhere around a 55-yard field goal there. First and 10. Aaron Rodgers got some room. Can he take off? Got him. And he's got him on the corner route. Brandon oh. Cooks, I don't think he got both no, feet down. he didn't. Tough animation right yep. there. He Second down to 10. Yep. And you see right there, that was a nice job getting out of the pocket, moving with Aaron Rodgers, who from the, his whole career, he's really been more mobile than people give him credit for. There's TD showing TD. some love to the to the fans out here, the Dolph fans. <laughs> just, just Make some noise, Dolph fans. You're live here inside of Hard Rock Stadium on twitch.tv slash Madden and mommydolphins.com. Great to see the fans out here. This is awesome. And this is this is what Madden's all about. We're playing in front of a live audience. We've got people watching on stream. Uh, this, is, this is just this is too much fun. He's got a guy wide open there if he's going to throw it. He's got B if he, if he wants to. Oh, but he's going yep. for Jackson Deshaun. Yep. Nice little spin there, and he's inside the 25 around the 20. Timeout there, and he'll have a shot around 37, 38-yard field goal attempt right here. Great job by Aaron Rodgers buying some time, hitting D-Jacks down on the field. He had another receiver open as well. Well, I was going to say, that's a really good example of why I'm sitting right here right. and I don't play so up there. So you would have taken B. I would have thrown a B, <laughs> but, 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 but what was so smart about that is he had his B receiver facing the quarterback back uh -huh. to the end zone. He waited for Deshaun Jackson, playmaker up the field, hit him in stride, let him get 10, 15 extra yards. Really, really high-level playmaker use right there. Field goal is up, and it is good from 37, 38 yards out to Blocky with a 17-point lead. He's up into the third quarter, 24 to 7, uh, here live inside of Hard Rock Stadium. We're going to have Isaac Asiata, uh, the guard for the Miami Dolphins. You guys know him, number 68. He's going to drop by here and do a QA. and a uh, I believe Douglas Esquire might be talking to Isaac. Uh, Asiata will be here, the Dolphins guard. Big 
game for the Miami Dolphins on Monday Night Football Absolutely. against the New England Patriots. Man, I can't wait to watch that one. Covered both of those guys. That's awesome. Yeah, huge, huge game coming up for the Dolphins here. They got they got a chance. It's been kind of an up and down season for, yes, the, for, for the Finns. So uh, a nice opportunity to, to make a statement game against the Pats on national television, no less. I know everybody here is excited for it, so I'm excited for it too. <laughs> I'm excited to be with this guy. Matter of fact, there's Isaac Asiata just walked in, and boy, he looks like a guard. Don't that's a large that man dude. right that's, there. That's Absolutely. A man. If you got some issues, you might want to avoid him. Yeah, I would not take that guy's lunch money at all. No, thank you. <laughs> He probably took a lot of lunch. I was going to say, I would just offer it up. Be like, here you go, sir, please. But uh, no, that first half was, was was interesting. I think Blocky really executed. You know, much like we saw Gusto execute in the first game, Blocky came out here and did exactly what he told us he wanted to do. Larry Ridley alongside Dave Grunfield here for the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship presented by Wendy's. Let's take a look at the first half highlights between Blocky and Mr. Miami Man. And Mr. Miami Man was in the orange with the color rush, and Bo Jackson got going early. He did. You know, we, we, we thought there was going to be a little bit more of a run game with Bo Jackson early on. He started to move the ball. This is his first possession. He's kind of having a balanced attack here. You know, Mr. Miami Man, for for all he's done, all the drives he's put together, it all goes away with one read like that and one throw like that. Mm -hmm. The turnovers have been really, really crucial for Blocky, playing really nice defense. There was that low pass that somehow was not ruled a touchdown. Know, right? Down onto the one-yard line, there's A-Rod on the sneak, you know, in for the first score of the game, 7 nothing. And then again, just really nice patience, staying in the pocket, not trying to do too much sees brandon cooks come over and then right here the defensive play oh, of the game so what far a play. amazing user lurk reads the screen right off the bat no hesitation we've seen that guy line up at tight end a couple of times but ryan shazier prefers playing linebacker yeah so we stand right here at halftime 24 to 7 blocky with the lead he is the collegiate madden 17 champion won yeah. that back in april out in columbia missouri uh with the uh c star league so he did a good job there he's used to it you can tell here's a guy that's been very good been very close to getting to some of the big majors, but he's already won pretty much a major when he won the collegiate uh, championship back in April. So he's on the big stage now, and you can tell he's used to this. He's gotten comfortable. Yeah, you know, he's a young guy, but he's, he, like you said, he seems to be built for the moment. You know, we talked to him pregame, and he was not stressed. He was completely calm. He was ready to come out here and execute, and that's exactly what he's done. He's missed Burbank by one game on both of the majors, on the Classic and the Challenge. This is his chance to just prove himself on a big stage. I'm psyched for the second half. What a segue. You just mentioned stage. <laughs> Let's go back to the stage here live for the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship. We're live here in the Hard Rock Stadium, and we're going to go to the big stage and watch these guys. You can see TD. What is he doing? TD, come back over here. Leave, leave her alone. TD is just he's, he's popular out here. He's, he's, he's touchy. He's, he's friendly. He's, he's ready to, to get the people fired up. It's awesome. At a lot of these championship events, we see the mascots here. We see cheerleaders. We see people, like you said, Isaac Aziatis here, people from the NFL franchise. So huge Absolutely. for Matt. And so cool to see the NFL engaging with this community like this. It's really, really awesome. All 32 teams will have a club champion, and that will be held down in Orlando. Not down. We're actually down. You can't get any further down. Yeah, we're about as down as you can you gotta get. You got to go up. I keep forgetting you got to go up to Central Florida. <laughs> <laughs> uh, up to Turnpike or up 75 and over uh, to uh, Central Florida and Orlando. The guys are on the stage. You just saw Blocky there. He's got a 24 to 7 lead and he gets the ball here to begin the third quarter. Uh, this is right here. Uh, one of those opportunities where he can get that little double score before the half and also get the ball and score in the beginning of the second half. Uh, for Blocky, Abbott Lopez, Dave. Yeah, you know, that that, that fourth down touchdown conversion uh, was, was really big. You know, making it a 14-0 game instead of a 10-0 game. Just on the scoreboard, but also mentally, you know, giving up a fourth down touchdown in the red zone for, for Miami, man. That's tough. You know, right here on this possession, we're, we're getting to the point where the clock is becoming his real enemy. He pretty much needs a turnover on this on this possession, whether it's a, a, a turnover on downs or it's a forced fumble right there, a big hit on Shazier, or, or he can lure him into a bad read and get a pick here. With a three-score advantage, Blocky up 24 to seven. Third down and six, you'll see uh, Blocky and then West Coast gun bunch week there. We're gonna motion the guys yeah, back on the up. other side, flip it around, still in the gun bunch. Fakes it to his running back, Logan. Aaron Rodgers looking, not a lot of room, but he takes off there and he does a great job of getting down, definitely. Don't want the hit stick to ruin things there and turn the ball over. Slides into a first down, first down and 10 in his own 40 uh, for Blocky. Good job there. Uh, by Blocky, Abbott Lopez there. First and 10, hands it off to TJ Logan. He's got some more. Oh, he probably should have kept it up closer on top of the numbers and in between the hash marks there. He picks up seven yards, Dave. When Blocky runs the ball with TJ Logan, who's a 64 overall, Miami man needs to be flying to the ball. He needs to be hit sticking. He needs to be trying to strip that ball out. That's his best chance for a turnover. There's a look at Blocky. Wide confidence there. On phase, man. Rolling with 
problem in the top Madden crew. He talked about that and, and learning from those guys and hanging with those guys. Those guys, Drenny, how about that? Won my challenge or won my tournament back in April. Yeah, Drenny, Drenny, Drenny's playing really, really good, really good Madden right now. Absolutely. Drenny, make sure you give us a shout out, man. We helped put you on the map, brother. Don't forget about <laughs> us. He's doing a good job. I like that. I love the youth movement with Joel CP and these mm -hmm. guys. You know, you got uh, Master Gamer here. He's in the, in the studio as well. Fitz Magic, all these young guys. I love these young guys doing a great job. And there's Logan up the middle. Picks up about 15 there. It's a first down. He's got five carries, 36 yards. That's about seven yards on the average right there, Dave. That's going to get it done right there. And, you know, for a guy who really kind of likes to throw the ball and he has a 64 overall running back, having seven yards of pop is about as good as you can hope for as he breaks another tackle. Breaks another tackle, picks up about seven. And, you know, our guy Isaac Asiata, he can appreciate that as an offensive guard for the oh, yeah. Miami Dolphins. You got that two-score lead. Why not just bleed it out and start mashing these guys? Let the big uglies up front get the work, man. Second down and two, and that's exactly what Blocky is doing uh, with the 17-point seven lead. And Logan, once again, stiff arms. Goodness. Great truck ability right there. Picks up another seven or eight yards. Seven carries, 52 yards. First and goal for Blocky, Dave. I thought Bo Jackson was on Miami's team because right now TJ Logan is just <laughs> bowling over defenders, linebackers, like it's nothing right now. You know, it's this is exactly the kind of drive that Blocky needed. He's used up pretty much the entire third quarter. He's been running the ball throws it when he needs to, completely under control, not forcing anything. It's, it's been an impressive drive right here. It's almost like that four-minute drive that you see in the NFL with these teams. You got a lead, you just kind of want to salt it away, and Black is doing a good job of that. He's in the red zone. He's like, look, I've already got points here. There's Logan. Ooh, oh, big hit. big hit there. Was that Jadivion Clowney? I believe it was there. It was. This is what you talked about now. 64 total uh, overall rating. Be careful. Just watch it a little bit now. <laughs> That's right. Well, now this is a bit, you know, a, a third down and goal here from the five. Blocky already up 24-7. He can afford to, to run this ball, let the clock get down, kick a field goal, and, and force Miami Man to do something wow. incredible. Already start of the fourth quarter. Yeah. It's a possession game. Mr. Miami Man, he needs three possessions. I don't know if he's going to get three. He's got to take the ball away. He's probably guaranteed maybe two. He's got to find one more and hold him to a field goal. That's the only shot he has. Blocky scores a touchdown here. It's over, but it's fourth and goal. He kicks the field goal. Now he's up by 20. 27 to 7 lead for Blocky. Mr. Miami Man needs to score, score quickly, and he has to get the ball back at least once to have a shot. Yeah, and don't forget, you know, Mr. Miami's man only touchdown was on a kickoff return. Yes. He, he hasn't scored on offense yet. You know, he hasn't really, he's put together a couple of sustained drives, but hasn't been able to, to avoid the big turnover. Whoa, good move there. Earl Thomas, very nice. Stayed in bounds. Earl Thomas the third. And that's the one. Mr. Miami man with his possession here in the fourth quarter. Wow, the third quarter just blocking at the ball the entire third quarter. He did. He completely <laughs> clocked, clock, clocked it down. Wow. He, he ran the ball with a 64 overall running back and, and proved why he was the favorite coming into this tournament. He's come out here and done nothing to disprove everybody's confidence in him. He's looked great. I think that, you know, if he can finish things out here, him and Gusto in the final is going to be awesome. That's not a good throw right no, there. No, that's not a good throw. It is a good no. throw of your Earl Thomas yeah. going the other way. And what a pick there for Blocky and that just might do it. Yep. Blocky with a 20-point lead and possession of the ball for Earl Thomas the third uh, from that Legion of Boom, and that's just a bad throw there. And that's, uh, that's, 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 uh, you know, that's not a great, not a great animation from the quarterback, but that's also a tough throw. You know, he's waiting for that post to get open right. on the other side of the field. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a tough spot to be in for Mr. Miami Man. He needs to throw. Blocky knows that he needs to throw. That can be tough when the guy knows what you need to do. That takes about half or more of your playbook, you know, out of a, out of the option. So far for blocking the defense, pitching that shutout. There he is running Logan again. He's been heavily on defense. When we talked with Blocky, 70-30 on defense. The secondary, man, what a secondary that is. Thomas, Reed, Kraus, and Harris. I don't think you can get better than that, Dave. That might be one of the best secondaries I've seen so far this year in the club championship. Yeah, we see a lot of guys investing in their secondary, but this really is uh, a special one, no, no doubt about it. You know, he mentioned also, in, you know, not just investing in the secondary, but also the D-line. You know, if you can get pressure with those front four, it makes everything, you know, past the front line a lot easier on defense. We saw to Devion Clowney on defense for those guys so yeah he spent a little money there but like the, the, the star of the game so far not only has been the defense but also Logan about to hit the century mark with 100 yards second down and one for Blocky uh, who's pretty much salted this thing away if he scores here I think they can go ahead and shake hands and there's Logan 
off. It, it, actually, it's over now. I, I, think, I think they're just going to pass the screen. <laughs> you're going to call it. Yeah, you're going to go ahead and call it. it. Yeah, yeah, right now. Yeah, it's over. Katie, yeah. bar the door. Yeah, Katie, bar the door. I think that uh, Blocky, you know, at this point, he did what he needed to do in the first half. He, he, he jumped out to a real, real aggressive start. And, you know, that, that kind of set the tone for him going forward here. I mean, even, you know, a, a, a scoop and score, a fumble, a pick six, you're still looking at a couple possessions, a couple more touchdowns. Yeah, for right now, uh, Mr. Miami Man, this, this might be the end of the line for him. Had a great run, though. Qualified online and, and did some damage there. Confident coming here into the semifinals. Great tackle there by Jadeveon Clowney. You know, told us about his confidence and how he was feeling good. He was like, guys, I really feel good. He was quiet, confident, mm -hmm. uh, respectful. Uh, I said, guys, look, I'll see you in Orlando. I feel like I can really take this guy. I know it's a tough matchup for me, but uh, I'm really confident. Looks like he's going to come up a little short here uh, at Hard Rock Stadium. Well, you know, Mr. Miami Man, much like uh, Embryn Quinn, from our first game, has a lot to be proud of. He made it all the way here. That's that's an accomplishment. But he's been in this community for a long, long time, 10, 15 years. To have that kind of sustained success, to still be active, still be involved, it's super impressive. So hats off to him. Obviously, this game didn't go the way that he wanted it to. But, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a heck of a player. Two-minute warning here live from Hard Rock Stadium in beautiful South Florida, Miami. Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship. Presented by Wendy's Larry Ridley alongside Dave Grunfield. Blocking with the field goal attempt up, and it is good. Uh, he will take the lead, 30-7, to seven, under two minutes to play here, live at Hard Rock Stadium, Dave. Yeah, we saw Mr. Miami Man just took hit the last of his timeouts before that two-minute warning. So he's really just going to be running and gunning. He might have to force the ball downfield a little bit here. We saw how that worked out last drive. Uh, you know, unless he can get one more kick return here. Maybe, which maybe he, 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 he might just have done that right Thursday here. Thursday night, Mike Wallace once again catching Mike and Wallace. Get out of here. All the way, Mike he's Wallace. He's going to have another house call for Mike Wallace. Look, if this game was all about special teams, he would be winning 14-0. I think we got a special teams player of the week uh, <laughs> nominee right here in, I think in you Mike do. Wallace. Two that was kickoff returns. Two kickoff returns. Yeah, you know, it just it just wasn't enough, you know, on the other two aspects of the game. There's th three parts of football. He clearly won the special teams battle. but Lost the other two. Yeah, and especially in Madden, that's going to be tough. You know, that's going to be something that's going to be tough to overcome. Two-point conversion attempt here for Mr. Miami Man from Kendall, Florida. Likes the U and the fans. And I'm like, dude, you're in the stadium where both teams play. And he's excited oh, about this. Jerry Rice quick, off to the left. Rice. Did he get in? Uh, yes, he did. Barely got in. Two-point conversion is good. Down by 15. Going to see the onside kick. He needs the Angels right here. He needs those Madden Angels to come out for him <laughs> one time. Let's see what we got. Sometimes Madden is good to you. Oh, he might have got oh, it. There it does. is. He got he it. He picked it up. He got it. It's not over yet. Did I speak too soon <laughs> when I said Katie bar the door? I've never been wrong when I've said Katie bar the door. Well, Mr. Miami Man proved me wrong. For the first time ever using Katie bar the door. He's got the rock. If though. Miami man comes back and wins this game, Larry, this is your fault. I'm putting it on you right now. <laughs> you get the me. blame. It's not that Blocky's fault. You <laughs> jinxed true. him. I did. We'll see if he can close this thing out. First down and 10 for Mr. Miami man in the Dolphins color rush jerseys. Carson Wentz looking. He's not able to get it off. Tick, 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 tick. He's out of timeouts. Weatherspoon with the sack. Second and 22 now. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah, About a buck 30 left. Dave Grunfield, yeah. second and 22. You got to get some, some pass completed. Some passes completed here, Dave. You really can't have that on first down. When you, when you need this kind of yardage that he does. Although, here we go. Mike Wallace again in some space to see what he can do here. Gets out of bounds. Smart clock man in there right there. Pass completed there to Mike Wallace. You saw the stat line for Carson Wentz. Multiple interceptions. Three picks, yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's not, not going to get it done. No, not, not, not in this type of game. Playing against a guy who's as good as Blocky is on defense, it, it's just not going to get it done. Third down and five from near middle field. Can we get a miracle here? And he's looking to the left side, and he's got, was that Bo Jackson that was? There you see Carson Wentz, 9 of 13, only 52 yeah, yards. out of bounds I there, mean, that's incomplete. what, yeah. like four yards per pass attempt? Mm, you need about 8, 9, or 10 if you really want to start chucking it and get some chunk plays. So not a very good job there, but he's going to get back in that gun bunch fourth and five or days. Yeah, four yards per pass. That's uh, Deshaun Kaiser territory. <laughs> you know, you don't, we don't want to be in that. Why you got to point out the Browns, yeah, man? Yeah, sorry, man. I, I much love to my Ohio people, but, you know, the, the numbers are the numbers. You know, you can't fight them. But a Didn't big they fire their GM they today, did. They're, they're, Brown? Yeah, he's, he's on the way out. We'll see what happens to Hugh Jackson. Oh, you had eight. There's Jerry Rice on the corner route, and he got him. First down and 10, here we go, about a minute to go, a buck 05, get to the line, hurry, hurry, yeah, hurry. Go, 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 right here. First we gotta... and 10 for Blocky, 
playing defense. There is Mr. Mommy Man. He's going to throw it away. Good job there. I think that, that, that might be grounding right there. I think it is. Yeah, no he, receiver he, over there on the right and side. He, I don't think he got outside the tackle box either. No. I think he threw that away from inside those offensive tackles. Not only is that a big penalty, that's also a loss of down, which is huge. So it's on second down and 20 now. Again, like that sack on the first play of this drive, you're just digging yourself such a, such a huge hole here now to come back. spike the ball there. You could have saved some time there. The downs aren't really important here. It's the time. Back in the gun bunk, second down and 20. Quarterback wasn't able to get out of the tackle box. And, of course, he threw it away. There was no receiver over there on the right side. Right. Carson Wentz looking again. Watch that. Ooh. And he's got Mike Wallace. Thursday night, Mike Wallace. Picks up about, uh, give him about 17 or 18. Yes, give him 18. Third down and four. You know what? Corner routes, that's exactly what they're designed to do. 18 to 21 yards on a corner route. That's the first thing they teach you when you start running those things. As a receiver there at Middle Tennessee. My boy's got, my old teammate is the new head that's coach right. of the University of Tennessee. Mr. Pruitt, right? Yeah, Jeremy right. Pruitt. We played together for a year. We played together for a year at Middle Tennessee. Then he transferred and went to Alabama and finished out his last two years. Of course, was a defensive coordinator at Alabama. Now the head coach down on Rocky Top. That's right. Go Vols, right? First down. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you, of yeah, course, but in, in general, you know, in right, general. Right. But yeah, I mean, this you've seen, uh, you've seen Miami man, you know, attack that that left flat. There he goes again, just making blocky, making adjustment. If not, he's going to keep attacking that left side of the field. It's been, it's been working for him. Yeah, and if you're blocky, you're you're okay with those seven and eight yard games. But that's a smart play uh, by Mr. Miami man. You take what he's going to give you and get out of bounds. You have no timeouts. You're going to need about. I don't know, 20 seconds left mm -hmm. uh, if you can get the onside kick. But I'll tell you what, man, this thing is starting to get a little hot and heavy here live here at Hard Rock Stadium for the Mad Bay Team Dolphins Club Championship presented by Wendy's. Back in the gun bunch, Carson Wentz back to pass. Mm, a lot of crossing again. routes. And he's got Jansen. Get out of bounds around the 11 or the 10. Picks up another first down. And they can see, look, Carson Wentz, he's completed every pass except one. Three of them were interceptions. Though. Yeah, that's not <laughs> not not the right way. You don't don't really throw into that team necessarily. Let's see if he can run the screen against Shazier all over it. Yeah, yeah throw, throw that away. thing away. Exactly. Throw away. You don't want to be forcing that one again. That uh, <laughs> that had pick six written all over it. We didn't want to make that throw. Second down and ten for Mr. Miami Man. Down by 15 points. And this is another thing. You know, he's moved the ball. Miami Man has had a nice drive, sustained drive. But Blocky, he's been okay with that. He doesn't mind if he's going to be throwing five, eight-yard passes because now he's inside the 10. This is where he really needs to show up and, and you know, dial up something special that's going to get him in the end zone. Well, play fake to Bo, and he hits Bo out in the flats. Bo Jackson picks up minimal yards there, so it'll be third down. Uh, call it about third and about seven uh, for Mr. Miami Man. About 30 ticks left here. There's Mr. Mommy Man from Kendall, Florida. 31 seconds left, third and eight. Live here at Hard Rock Stadium, the Dolphins Club Championship. Presented by Wendy's. Gun bunch, motions the man back across the right side. Carson Wentz fakes to his running back, and he's got to receive. Oh, what a pick there. And once again, it's one of those linebackers. He's really good with that user, and that, my friend, Katie can bar the door. That's going to do it. There it is. He got you off the hook right there. There was a, a potential comeback happening, but yeah, no, that's that's a tough pass. That's a tough read. Good user by Blocky. You know, he, he showed up and played a great game. His second half, he had to kind of get out of his game a little bit, had to run the ball, which he doesn't normally do, but that's going to be it right there. That's going to wrap things up. He's got a 15-point lead as the time ticks down here for the club championship of the Dolphins presented by Wendy's. Great job of his linebacker core. Weatherspoon, Shazier, Anthony Barr, Elvis Dumerville. Those guys coming up big for Blocky, and that will do it. It is a final. Blocky moves on to the championship. He's got family here. Didn't want to shout him out, but you saw the handshake between Blocky and Mr. Miami. Great crowd here inside of Hard Rock Stadium at the Hyundai Club uh, for the Madden 18 Dolphins Club Championship presented by Wendy's Larry Ridley, Dave Grunfeld. Big win for Blocky. Defense was phenomenal. Played well. Shut him out. Did give up two special team touchdowns. Though. Yeah, we'll let that slide on, on, on this <laughs> one. But You'll let it slide. Now, Blocky came out here like he was the favorite, and he played like it. Never really stressed, never really sweated anything in this game. Came out and executed on offense, threw the ball all over the field during the first half. And like you mentioned, Larry, on defense, that user skill with the linebacker was super, super impressive. Really just an all-around dominant performance. I think we really have a fantastic championship match lined up here with Gusto against Blocky. I'm, I'm interested to see if Blocky's user with his linebacker on defense mm -hmm. is going to have any impact on Vic. I don't know if he's going to use her to, to, to try and defend the run game or if he's going to have to just kind of get a little bit deeper 
right. defending those deeper routes with his user backer. Well, whatever you need to do, you need to make sure you stop that run game because Michael Vick, he's been a beast. And Gusto, he put it out there for everyone. The only way you can beat me is you need to stop Mike Vick. I'm telling you, I'm going to run Mike Vick until the cows come home. <laughs> so that's going to be a great final. But right now, let's catch up with the guy that won the second semifinal. Blocky is standing by with Douglas Esquire live outside inside of Hard Rock Stadium. Well, they got the new side out there. Douglas, take it away. Douglas Esquire back here. Hard Rock Stadium. It looks beautiful here. Speaking of beautiful, wow, Blocky killing it right here. Welcome, congratulations, sir. Thank you. All right, so so what was your approach right here? What was your approach? And go ahead and take it out, Mr. Miami man. So on offense, I know I can move the ball pretty much against any defense. So as long as I get one or two stops, I know I'm gonna be in good position to win the game pretty easily. Speaking of stops right here, I mean, I don't know what happened with the special teams. You got two, uh, basically you, you threw a shutout here with, with, the, uh, with the offense, but what happens with the special teams, man? Yeah, I guess, I don't, I don't know, because I was already up 20, and I guess I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, Get, next game, I got it. Getting complacent. It's all right, man. It's all right. You got to bring it next game. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to the finals right here. So here's the deal. You're guaranteed at least 2500 bucks. That's exciting. But are you ready for the Pro Bowl? Yeah. Are you ready to get this championship? Yeah, I'm not really here for the money. I'm here to get the points for the MCS, and so I qualify for the last tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time right here at the the Madden 18 Dolphins Championship presented by Wendy's. Going on to the finals right here. Blocky, make some noise. Yeah, all right. Back to you, Larry and Dave. Blocky, come on, <laughs> brother. 